Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Hello, friends. One of my favorite things to eat on Thanksgiving is a turkey, but turkeys aren't always roasted. Sometimes they walk around and stuff. So let's draw a turkey that can walk around before it gets eaten. Let's first start with a circle right in the middle. About the size of a golf ball. Now you can see I'm using my blue pencil and I'm drawing very, very light. And it's okay that I draw a lot. Put lots of lines on there. Because I'm exploring. Now what I'm going to do is uh, right here across the top here, I'm going to just kind of slice it off like this. See that? Because right here, I'm going to actually come off the circle. And this is going to be the neck. Go up like this. See that? And then right here where it's sliced off, I'm going to kind of quickly turn it up and go right up here to the neck. It's a little narrower at the top of the neck. And then at the top of this neck, I'm gonna draw a circle. This is the turkey head. And of course, to the left of this is gonna be its beak. So I'm basically gonna draw a big, kind of a W. That looks weird. There we go. Make sure this point goes right back to the head. And then turkeys have a little, I call it a gobbler. I don't know what that is, but there's a big globby thing that hangs off his nose and it shakes underneath his chin. So let's put that right here and then down below like that. Well, I don't know about you, but if I was a turkey during Thanksgiving, I'd be kind of scared. So let's give him some big scared bulgy eyes like that. And he's like looking behind him and he's worried. So let's uh, draw a little arc underneath his eye like he's, he's been up all night. I'm gonna give him a hat. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a hat. So right off this shape is going to be this, like, like a, a can or a glass shape. It's wider here and narrower here. And I'm going to arch it right there, like this. And then right around here, I'm going to draw another ellipse. And don't worry about drawing through it. We're just trying to make sure it's the right shape. Can you see that? Now you're seeing it. Right here, I'm going to draw another arch that follows the contour of the hat and a little square that comes out and above the strap. And we'll lock in the details in a second. So he's a worried expression here. Of course, turkeys have a great big tail. So from the middle of his back here, let's draw a big arch, kind of a oval, that comes around like this. It's taller than his head. Now the turkey feathers radiate from the center, which means if this is the center, this is the center, it's gonna radiate from the center like this. Well, that looks, there we go. Try to make them all the same kind of size. They get smaller as they get down to the bottom here. Okay. And the edges of the feathers are rounded. So let's add some rounded boink. Like if you were a flea jumping from one end to another end, boink, 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 boink. It's a big one. Boink, boink, boink. See, now you can see that's the edge of the feathers. And let's do the same thing right here. We'll do boink, boink. Boink, 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 boink. Now remember, they're big here, but as it gets lower, it gets smaller. Smaller? Smaller and narrower. I think I just made up a new word by mixing words together. See how it's narrower here? 
let's add another stripe right here and do the same thing boink 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 that is super super cool and it's got a, a wing here so let's draw an oval like this an oval like a, almost an egg shape but right here we're gonna give it a like a shoulder and then we're going to create a, like a little M shape curve curve and curve one two three let's give some stripes on the wings too so stripe 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 and another one stripe 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 of course you gotta stand up Turkeys don't fly all the time. In fact, they walk most of the time. So right in the center of this body, let's give it a leg there. And this leg right here like this, like he's gonna, he's walking away. So straight leg and then three toes. And then right here, we're gonna go. Like his toes are touching the ground. Make it a little thicker. Now, let's lock it in with a black pencil so we can see all the details. This is kind of like a discovery process because I get to choose the lines that I like the best. There's lots of scribble lines in there, but with my black pencil, I can select the ones that I like the best. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I love to see his eyes. So I'm gonna draw his eyes first. And because my pencil is really sharp, it has lots of detail, so I will do all the fine detail first. Here's a little gobbler thingy. It comes under his beak. And there's his head. His head comes up under his hat. And I just realized, you know what kind of fun right here? Is if we give him like his feathers have these arches. Let's do the same thing on his neck. There we go. And on his chest here, it looks like we can do a little feathers like that. That would be fun. Now watch, I'm not bending my wrist very much because I want big, smooth strokes. I'm locking my wrist and I'm using my shoulder to do the drawings. That is the secret to really smooth lines. And if you want, if you want it to, to make your drawings really, really good, I have an exercise on my website you can download for free and it teaches you how to do that. Go ahead, go to www.sketchy.com. Okay, let's go back up here to the hat. I'm gonna draw this arch nice and easy. There we go. That's the bottom of his hat. And then, hat. There's this square here. And then this, like a band, goes right through it. And there's a pilgrim hat. That's so cool. Now let's draw his tail. Draw these first. Boink, 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 boink. You know what I love is the loose blue drawing. Give the character some, some substance, some, some mystery, some, some cool factor. Instead of just a clean tracing, I love to see the underdrawing of all my drawings. It helps me remember what I was thinking when I was drawing it. So let's draw these boinks. Oh, I'm a, I kind of like the, the process of boinking from here. Boink, 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 boink. Stop right on the line. Do the same thing over here. Boink. 
and that's draws his legs. Two straight lines, two straight lines, and little feet. And just at the bottom, I'm gonna use the side of my pencil and just give it a little shading like this. And there's a turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. See you later.